Simon, what I've just witnessed here today at Starmer is a machine like no other I've seen before. Can you just explain for our viewers what this uh, Starmer model is? Yes, this is our Mill Turn 724-2C model from Starmer. Uh, this is a twin column, twin milling spindle, twin turning spindle technology. When I think of a mill turn machine, I think of a horizontal spindle and a, a, a B-axis and a secondary spindle. But this is, this is different. That's got the horizontal spindle, but it's also got the vertical as well. What's the advantage of being able to do that? So that allows you to take a single part from your main spindle. Whilst that's being machined, you can use the second column on the mill spindle to complete your second operation. And, and, and on, taking the first spindle into account here, you're, you're bar feeding into that spindle and then you're machining on it in a horizontal plane, and then you might, what, tip it through 90 degrees to then do a secondary operation? Yeah, so you can have a bar length of up to sort of 800 mil with this machine tool, which allows you then to vertically, using the tilt of the spindle, so you can come in and obviously hit that vertically as well as horizontally, gives you full five axis machining capabilities. On both spindles, on both, both sides? spindles, yes. Now you mentioned two columns then, so this machine is very split, is it? You've got one machining cell and a secondary machining cell, is that how you look at it? That's right, yes, so it's an independent, two independent columns, um, giving you two independent milling spindles. So you can do op 10 uh, using your left hand milling spindle with your left hand turning spindle, and then op 20 using the uh, right hand milling spindle and turning spindles. And the, and the best way to sort of describe this in comparison to other machines is it is essentially a mill turn machine crossed with a five axis machining center would that be a good analogy yeah it's uh it's a true milling mill turn machine um predominantly for milling but also has a full turning capabilities on there as well you're, you're feeding the main spindle with a bar feed and then i notice here you've got a gantry loader so is that universal as well am i, am I able to load the main spindle with the gantry as well if I didn't you know if I needed to do bigger than, than an 80 mil bar diameter for example yeah if you've got castings or billets you can load them through the gantry loader which will load straight into the left hand spindle um, and unload as well your finished parts and when you've got all these moving parts and moving axes it seems to me that are you not uh, sort of increasing the opportunity for error on these machines of machining parts or is, is that the wrong way to look at it the, these machines are well built from the ground up Starmer have been building machine tools like this, turn mill machines, for a number of years, and uh, it's you know a real solid machine. And, and where do they sell them then, Simon? I mean, you, you, you're a regional sales manager in the UK. Uh, we're obviously here in, in Germany today, but when, when you go back, where, where's your target audience for a, a machine like this? Because it's not for every machine shop, is it? No, it's obviously got to be the right application. Starmer have historically supplied into the automotive industry and also a lot of tool manufacture. So companies like Sandvik, Gurin, um, Sandvik have hundreds of Starmar machines producing their tool holders um, throughout the world. I suppose that's because you can machine that tool holder completely in one hit, can't you? Yeah, so you're in six sides of that component um, with the twin column technology it gives you the opportunity to um, reduce your cycle times whilst working on the left hand with OP10 the right hand with OP20 at and it, the same time. And is there any difference between the left hand and the right hand on this machine? You know, sometimes when you look at twin turret machines, you, you've got a smaller secondary spindle than the main is, or is this identical from one side to the other? They're, they're identical. So you're running off HSK 63 up to 16,000 RPM milling spindles, and you're turning spindles uh, 4,200 up to sort of 43 kilowatts. So they're powerful, true turning spindles as well. And how does one go about programming a machine like this Simon I mean I know you're in sales and not necessarily getting involved in that but when, when you're talking to your customers how easy is it well we offer both FANUC and semen control systems and we like to teach the customer um, in an OP10 and an OP20 so if the customer's already familiar with programming five axis then they'd be able to pick this up so it's not a case of you have to program it, or everything together. You're taking bits in stages and then the machine will bring them together to integrate it. Correct, yes. So the Engineering Technology Group as a company, you're a solution provider, you've got a lot of brands. What does this add to your mix of machine tools? This adds total flexibility to our machine tools at the top end of what we offer um, throughout our portfolio of machines. And we're able to um, add this to that portfolio.